Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, I wanted to really quickly talk about an awesome feature that I've just come across within DaVinci Resolve, and that is the remote monitoring feature within DaVinci Resolve Studio. So really quickly, let's just have a look at what it is, and then I'll explain how I'm implementing it into my professional workflow. So over in the workspace drop-down menu, you wanna make sure that remote monitoring is checked. Then you'll get an icon down in the bottom right-hand corner and this is the remote monitor window. It's really as simple as this. What you wanna do is start a session and then you can copy this key and you can send this anywhere you want to. Obviously, wherever someone has an internet connection, they can just grab that key and paste it into the remote monitor app and you can download that app on a whole variety of devices. Once you have that key, you plug it in and then on my end, I can see that I have two session participants and two people are connected to this live feed. So what DaVinci is doing here is essentially encoding my program monitor video, which is the video that appears in your edit page, your cut page, your deliver page, your color page, anywhere where you're seeing the final video within DaVinci Resolve, it is streaming that and encoding it over the internet for people to view on the other end. So because you are streaming it, there are different encoding settings which you can choose here and you can choose from three currently. You've got two flavors of H.265, which is the 420 8-bit or 420 10-bit. And then you've got a standard H.264 compression, which is a 420 8-bit compression. I'm currently streaming H.265 420 10-bit and then you can choose the bit rate. So I'm choosing 10 megabytes a second, which is relatively high for a 1080p feed, but I'm doing this just to sort of test the robustness of my computer to see if it can color grade and encode this video at the same time. And to be honest, I've had no problems, but essentially what we're doing is if we play this through here, I'll take off loop and play through this color grade. You can see here it is appearing on my phone. And if I go ahead and hit pause here, it pauses on the phone. So this stream here on my iPhone 13 and also this stream here on my iPad Pro is the exact same feed that I'm seeing here on my Flanders DM240 reference monitor here in the studio. So if I just hit play again, you can see that that is just gonna play through and everything that I'm seeing there on my reference monitor is being translated over to my iPhone and the iPad Pro. Now the really encouraging thing for anyone wondering is that my calibrated Flanders DM240, which is a beautiful color grading monitor, the color that I'm seeing right there in the studio is 99% the same as this iPad Pro feed right now. So what that means is if you have an iPad Pro anywhere in the world, you can be seeing almost exactly what I'm seeing here right in front of me in the studio. So it makes collaborating with people around the world incredibly easy. Now, because this is integrated directly into DaVinci Resolve, I'm much more confident using this than any other third-party solutions which people have used in the past. Lots of people have used Zoom, used YouTube live streams, they've used a whole variety of paid color managed live stream platforms. But because this is under the hood, it's so simple to set up and use. There's nothing better than having someone in the room with you looking over your shoulder at the reference monitor and discussing what is in front of you. Now you can essentially replicate this by putting a camera in the room and setting up a Zoom call with your client so they can see you working, but then also give them the live feed that they can view on their phone or on the iPad Pro and simply just hold that image in front of them and what they're seeing there, as long as they've got a few settings correct on the iPad, meaning 50% brightness, true tone off and night shift off, they'll essentially see exactly what you're seeing. And so they can comment like, hey, is that a little bit bright there on the right hand side? And then I can look here and go, yeah, yeah, it is. And then make that tweak in real time. Another use case that I've been using recently is to have the phone in front of me down here and the iPad Pro off to the side. There are times where I'm just asking, I wonder what this would look like on an iPad or, or an iPhone. And so I would do a render and airdrop it to me on my iPhone and the iPad just to watch down to make sure that it's all good. But I don't need to do that anymore. I can simply just look down at the iPad and the phone as I'm grading and get that real-time feedback. 
So it's as simple as that. Check it out in DaVinci 18.5. It is available in the studio version, unfortunately not the free version, but it is something that I'm having a lot of fun with and I've actually done a couple of client review sessions this week and it's worked out perfect. So have fun with it and we will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.